was a three-time NCAA qualifier as a Cal State Fullerton wrestler. He is a former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. He is Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, and he is ready to add to his legacy here today. And for all those wrestling accomplishments, he doesn't even need to use it. He's become a great striker under Dwayne Ludwig, a guy that can beat you with kicks, a guy that can beat you with the boxing, and the footwork is something that we haven't seen in the UFC for a very long time. TJ Dillashaw is one of the greatest bantamweights of all time. And he is truly in his element on fight night. Absolutely loves the bright lights and everything that fight night entails. Another big spot for Dillashaw here tonight. Big spot here for the former undisputed UFC middleweight champion Israel Adesanya, and he's not too emotionally attached to a lot of these results. I expect a big effort out of him here tonight. You know, John, I love that you teed it up that way because I was just thinking that for a guy that seemed to be on a rocket ship to the moon becoming a middleweight champion, he handles adversity as well as anyone I've ever seen. When he lost to Jan Kohovic when he tried to become double champion, still even keel. When he lost his championship, even kill. I believe that ability will allow for him to work his way back to a championship opportunity where I expect him to be very competitive and possibly earn himself the belt back. And skill for skill, there are a lot of people that still believe he's the best middleweight in the world. A lot of the elite 185 pounders believe that Izzy and not necessarily Pareda represent the toughest matchup for them. We'll see how a lot of sign affairs in this critical matchup here tonight. the tape for this heavyweight fight. We go inside the octagon. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. for this one. Well, with no shortage of momentum, here's the UFC Bantamweight champion, TJ Dillashaw. His striking has gone to a completely different level under Dwayne Van Ludwig training at elevation there in Colorado. TJ Dillashaw, three-time NCAA qualifier as a wrestler in college, but known primarily as a striker since crossing over to mixed martial arts. Oh, beautiful land there by Adesanya. You hear this crowd just eating out of his hand, oohing and on every time he advances. I mean, he just captures your imagination from the walkout to the entrance when he's in the octagon, the fighting style. He just kind of has that thing that makes you want to stop and stare at Israel Adesanya. Oh, looks like he's trying to set up the takedown. There's the attempt. Inside leg kick is there. Well, that left hand has been there at times, not on that attempt. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Dillashaw. Cut him off, cut him off. Right. Oh, straight punch. That is, oh man, this dude is good. Again, going back to the jab, just out of range. And the strike lands clean. Oh, 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 oh,
still on his feet, but he's not up by much. Oh, my goodness. Oh, big knee there. Well, it seems like there has been an opening for that overhand all night long. Let's see if he goes back to it here. Feel that breeze octagon side after the swing and a miss by Adesanya. All right, so the overhand has certainly been a big weapon for him here tonight. Look for him to go right back to it here if he can find an opening. Misses with the right hand. Lands the inside leg kick there. Come on, bud. Let's get those hands working now. Oh, you yeah. land, I land. Is how we're doing here. Just over two minutes to go in the round. Stuffs the takedown. No problem. I need you to get that. Oh, how clean is that jab by Dillashaw? Punch. Let's pressure forward and get the takedown now. Nice inside leg kick by Israel. Oh, and he lands another combination here, really starting to get into a striking group. I mean, and stringing them together so effectively, never throwing the same attack more than once. What a job to recognize all the openings in his opponent's defenses. Well, as many expected, the narrative in this one. Oh, big left. One minute now to go in round one. Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just got to find that kill shot and get him out of there. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited and you want to finish it because you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss a lot. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Oh, nice kick. Starting to do some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Dillashaw's nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Final seconds of round one. Oh, knee strike right to the midsection there. Oh. Big moments oh. on both sides in round one. All right, there's the horn. The round is over, but not before he was cut on his nose from the strikes in that round. Back to the stool. Cut man is in. Should be able to shut that cut and prevent it from becoming an issue moving forward. But, of course, as soon as he gets struck in that next round, it could open back up. Well, I'm not sure the extent to which he has recovered, but we do see the end of the round. DC, talk us through the replay. Well, he's a tough guy. He's going to make it to the stool. He's going to survive unless you put him completely out of there. Unfortunately, he's in there with a guy that does have that ability. Round two now. Israel Adesanya versus Ready. TJ Dillashaw. Go ahead. Oh, and he tags him with the straight. Beautifully placed there by Adesanya. Another good stick to the head. Good kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body here and just continues to punish his opponent's body here in this round, just like he did in the previous one. Oh, head kick there is his hands, and maybe time to get the bonus checks ready. I mean, this fight is about done. He's got him hurt very bad with his head kick. Now we have to find one more strike. That's it! Holy smokes! Yeah, man, crowd love 
isn't it just a gorgeous shot there to end the fight? Really just the way he drew it up. He found the opening and capitalized on it to the utmost extent. Nicely done to finish the fight. We send it inside the octagon. Bruce Buffer has your official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean's called a stop to this contest at 45 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by knockout, Israel, the last style bender, Asanya. All right, so the clean knockout for Israel Adesanya tonight, the last style bender, not forcing the issue as usual, but it is a pretty thing when he puts somebody away. Well, if you press Israel Adesanya, he will put you to sleep. Once again, he proves why he's one of the best fighters in UFC history.